he acknowledged that he had to curse and yell at the fans to get them to leave. The former leader of the well-known second-generation boy group Teen Top shed light on the terrifying sassing fan culture and the threats to idols' private lives. Fans are becoming more and more enamored with the glitzy K-pop world, but there is a disturbing underside to this world where celebrities' privacy is violated, frequently brutally. Sassing fans are not your typical admirers, in case you didn't know. These are fanatics who frequently transgress moral and legal boundaries in an effort to get closer to their idols. Their behaviors range from the troubling, like spending hours following famous people, to the extremely dangerous, like breaking into their homes. C recalled his first experiences with Teen Top. Described his creepy encounters with these obnoxious fans. The former leader continued by saying that the followers would even attempt to give him gifts while it was dark. Even though being approached in the dark on the spur of the moment with letters and gifts might seem innocent, the experience can be terrifying if it happens often. According to him, P has always responded to the fans in a strict and harsh manner. The ex-idol admitted to yelling and cursing at the sassing fans to frighten them off. Stalking is a problem, but it's not the only one. The method by which these sassing fans obtain personal information is genuinely alarming. The extent of this issue is demonstrated by the information that has come to light about the online trading of idols' personal information. It's alarming to learn that there is a black market for celebrities' personal information, where anything from phone numbers to addresses is for sale. Even mentioned shocking incidents of airport staff members exchanging flight information with these fans. Such violations not only endanger the artist's safety and tranquility, but also cast doubt on the institutions that are supposed to protect their privacy and security. This expose from CAP serves as an ominous cautionary tale about the cost of fame in the era of social media and unheard of fan access. More fans are prepared to cross the thin line between admiration and obsession, 